Right, Gary, Billy Waters in from Crew. Another second strike you signed this summer. What can you tell me about him? Well, I, I, I've watched, I've watched him play quite a few times. He had a really good start at Crew. Um, I remember watching him against uh, Bolton in the uh, Carling Cup, and I thought he played really, really well that day for for Crew. And I was surprised when he he, he didn't sort of maintain his uh, first team status there. And uh, also watched him at Barnsley. Uh, he played at Barnsley, and uh, and then of course you do your, your due diligence and you you check up on his Twitter and uh, <laughs> make sure there's nothing untoward, and you check up on uh, what he's done, and uh, and he's been at Crew a long time, and people that have been at Crew under Dario Grady and the rest of the team there always have a good footballing upbringing, and he's he's got some real quality. Uh, he is your playmaker. He can play just behind the forwards, he can play as a forward and he can play as a wide player as well. So he gives you uh, a few options. He's, a, he's another little stocky one um, to go with our few big ones that we got around. And uh, I think he'll be a really good team player, but he'll also, another one that I believe has got an end product. Yeah, you've got important elements throughout the team obviously, but the strikers, they've got a massive part to play if you're going to be up there challenging at the right end of the table. Yeah, but it's not, you know, you can have the best striker in the world, but if you've got nobody feeding him and nobody assisting or, you know, playmaking, if you like, um, so you've also got to find people that can make goals. And I think he does a little bit of both. I'm going to get him a little bit more, um, uh, more often in the penalty areas because I think he's got that ability to drop his shoulder and just tuck it in the corner. Um, but he's only young. Uh, and I just feel that he's got that potential to to score that 15, 20 goals a season. Yep. Uh, he certainly already makes those uh, makes that many goals, and uh, he needs to play a full season. And uh, I I gave him that opportunity, if you like. Of course, he's he's got to do well to you know, stay in the team, and he's also got to fight to get his place in the team. But um, you know, he knows that uh, he's the type of player that I was I was looking for as another little piece of the jigsaw. Yeah, you've, your most recent signing was Jack Bartram. He's played in League One a fair bit as well. So bringing in players that have had a taste of it two steps up, are you quite pleased with that going yeah, into the National I am. League? Of course, Downs, he's, I think, played at that level as well. And there's probably going to be a couple more before we finish. But um, you know, there's, a, there's, another, there's another striker that we, we, we need to sign. Uh, we know we need to sign a goalkeeper and a left-sided uh, player. So, um, you know, we, we know what we need, but we're, we're very close now, and I'm really pleased with what we've got at this stage of, of pre-season, as, as far as the, the, the squad is concerned. Yeah, two days away from the start of proper pre-season training. I know all the staff are in today making plans for it, but how, how excited are you about just getting started now after all the summer of hard work? Yeah, I'm, I'm always excited at the start of pre-season because it's a new group of not just footballers, but personalities. And uh, you, you try and work out whether they will gel when you're seeing them individually. Um, but I look forward to when they then come in as a group and which ones uh, you know, mix with others and, and which ones are the quiet ones and which ones are the leaders, and etc. Et um, but I do believe that uh, all of them have got a, uh, an ambition and a commitment to uh, A, improve themselves, but B, importantly as well, is to improve Cheltenham Town Football Club's lot. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Gary. No problem.